hello guys in this lesson we should focus on how to obtain the state space representation of the DC motor modeling okay and so in the, in the at the previous lesson we obtained the full domain of the equation of motion related to the DC motor modeling and now we can write it down as the I dot is equal to 1 LA and we in the input voltage from to the given the system <coughs> and so I times RA and we have the KB coefficient from the electromotive force must be given at this position and so <coughs> theta dot dot is equal to 1 divided by J times KT times I minus C times theta dot minus K theta okay and so this is the equation of motion of these things in the transfer function approach we get the total notion of uh, these things applied to the Laplace transform and we get in the first place S times I is equal to 1 divided by L A and so we input minus <coughs> i r a minus and we have a derivative term which means that s times k b times theta value at this position i don't write the uh, uh, s domain like this one because we don't have any space in this notation but uh, you should remember that we have a uh, all the parameter with the s parenthesis in this form okay and so s square must be given in this position because we have uh, two derivative terms in the theta notation and so theta must be equal to 1 divided by j times k t i minus we have a uh, one derivative term in here j times s times theta minus k theta must be given at this position okay and so we what happened or uh, what if uh, we need to obtain the theta s divided by v in s notation and so we need to remove the whole the term from current value okay and so we disappear the current value <coughs> transforming into the v input and a theta value at this time and so the first equation can be used in order to create a this form okay and so we can organize the whole the i terms with the parenthesis terms and the this terms uh, is moved to the at the right or left hand side and we get s plus r a divided by l a comes from these things and these things must be equal to v input voltage times 1 divided by L A and theta times S K B over L A okay and so I value must be written as the we can summarize this uh, F1 parameter in this notation and so <coughs> V in times 1 divided by L A times F1 and uh, theta must be equal to s k b l a f 1 okay and so this term can be written in the second equation and then we have only the voltage input parameter and theta parameter in the second hand okay and so <coughs> we can copy of this uh, written space at this time and we can write it down as the s square times theta must be equal to 1 over j parameter in the first place kt times i minus c s theta minus k theta in this notation and we have the current value as v in 1 divided by l a f 1 minus theta s a k a b divided by l a f 1 okay and so if we can uh, write this term into this equation and then we have s square 
theta is equal to 1 divided by j parameter and then uh, kt times v voltage input la f1 minus kt theta as uh, kb divided by la f1 and so j theta s must be written in here and we have the k theta as a last parameter of this equation okay and so if we change the whole equation or if we collect the whole the theta at uh, one side and the way in at the other side and then we have this equation parameter s squared plus s k b k t and l a j f1 plus c times s j plus k divided by j must be equal to v in times k t over l a f1 and j okay and so if we obtain the whole the position or the whole the transfer function of these things then we have three parameter f2 and f3 is a summarized parameter representing whole the equation and so theta s divided by voltage s in must be equal to f3 divided by f2 okay this is a total form of transfer function representation of these things right and so in the second place we should uh, obtain the state space representation of this form okay and so <coughs> we have an equation of motion related to this uh, dynamics as the we must rewrite it down as one divided by l a times v in minus i r a minus k b theta dot in this notation and so in the second equation related to the mechanical parameter and uh, one divided by j must be equal to k t minus c theta dot minus k theta okay and so in the state space, state space representation we have a dummy variable like the z1 must be equal to i z2 is assigned to theta and z3 is assigned to theta dot in order to create a first order modeling dynamics okay and so if we take in a derivative term and so we have the z dot one in this parameter okay and so z1 derivative is equal to the i dot okay and so if we have a z1 term in here and so z1 is equal to the i and so we can write it down as the minus ra divided by la okay and so if we have a uh, z2 term uh, which means that the theta value in here but we don't have any theta and so z2 times zero at this position and so in the last place z3 can be added by kb divided by la and plus where in or the voltage input value must be created by this diagram okay and so z2 dot is equal to the theta dot which means that uh, it's only have a one part z3 and so z3 dot which means that a theta dot dot is equal to z1 parameter which means that i value kt over j plus z2 parameter theta parameter is given by spring coefficients and so minus k divided by j and plus z3 and so z3 is a theta dot and so minus c over j okay this is our state space representation form but this form should be written as z dot is equal to a times z plus b times voltage input value okay 
and so we need to obtain the a matrices and b matrices in here a matrices can be written by the <coughs> z1 z2 z3 parameter which means that the minus r a l a can be written at this position and so z2 is zero at this time and so we have the z3 z3 k b divided by la at this position and so z2 dot must be equal to zero <coughs> zero and only we have the z3 parameter in here as equal to one and so in the last place we have the kt divided by j minus k value j for z2 and we have the minus c divided by j parameter at this notation it's a state in matrix uh, related to this dc motor dynamics and so in b is related to the voltage input value and in the first place we have only z dot one parameter possesses it okay and so v l a must be written at this position and z2 dot or z3 dot don't have this kind of information also and so we should uh, assign a zero zero at this time <coughs> and then we have or we obtain we have obtained to hold the whole model representation especially in this state specific presentation form must be written in this form okay we obtain it and so we can pass or we can move to application of the simulink especially in the matlab application form okay